What's up, what's up, Builders Club TV Nation? You got Dewan Jones here, your professional stay-at-home dad. And man, I tell you, family, I'm excited, excited. I'm always going to be extra excited when I see young people uh, stepping to the forefront and doing some major things in this industry we know as network marketing, work from home business. Uh, man, we got a rookie of the year, <laughs> a young lady who's doing some serious damage out here in these internet streets. She's Ashley Family, the youngest diamond in her company. Isn't that amazing? She's doing some phenomenal things, leading the way uh, and being a, an example for millennials out here that have big dreams. She's making it happen. Uh, let me get myself on camera really quick, family, so you can see me live and direct what's going on. I want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the Builders Club TV. We're going to continue to bring uh, the heat, guys. We're going to continue to bring forth uh, people doing or phenomenal people doing phenomenal things in this industry. I want you to uh, continue to share and uh, get the word out about the Builders Club TV. Again, this is for the culture, guys. I want to make sure that we have our good friend on with us. Jayla Michelle is on the show tonight, family. Jayla, can you hear me okay? We can hear you live and direct. We can hear you live and clear, loud and clear. Let me just make sure I can get you on camera so the family can see you. Um, family, continue to share this video. Share this video if you're on with us right now. Make sure that you let us know where you're tuning in from. What's going on, Jayla Michelle? What's going on? Hi, how are you? Doing good, doing good. <laughs> Excited about having you on. You've been making some noise out here in these internet streets, so the family's definitely excited about having you on. Thank you for coming on to the Builders Club TV. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to be on here. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, again, like I said, we had to have you on, making so much noise out there, helping a lot of people and doing it at such a young age so there's a lot of folks out there in your age group that are probably looking at you like wow she's doing the dang thing out here you know helping a lot of people and being a leader and doing it at, again at a young age so uh on the builders club tv show jayla what we like to do is we like to get into the builders club tv time machine and we like to take it back right now i know we can't go too far back because you're still young in your years and you're still making things happen right you got a lot of life ahead of you right but when we want to take it back a little bit because we want to find out how in the world does a 19 year old young lady go out here and just crush it the way that you're doing becoming a diamond you know hitting the top of your company i mean what's really going on the people have answers so <laughs> we have questions we need answers so if you will take us back a little bit jayla and tell us you know how did you just discover this work from home industry? How did you run into this? So um, I actually ran into it from my mother. She was she has been doing this industry for the last 10 years now. And um, who's your mother? So really, I've been mm -hmm. who's your mother? That? Who's your mother? Jackie Pippins. Jackie she is Pippins. also a diamond. Mm -hmm. She's Jackie also a diamond. Pippins is your mother. Wow. Shout out to Jackie Pippins, legendary leader in the industry. That's what's up. Wow. Yes. So she's been in this industry for about 10 years. So really, I've been in this industry since I was like seven years old. I just didn't know it. Um, I was actually watching her, but I didn't realize I was watching her, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, she used to actually bring me to the meetings as punishment. Wow. And I would cry so hard wow. because I did not want to be there. Wow. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I was listening, but I didn't really know I was listening until I got started in this business and I crushed it and nobody really knew why, you know, I was so successful, but I knew because I've been watching my mother all these years. Mm. So that's how it all got started for me was for my amazing mother. Wow, that's amazing. So basically, Jayla, you're like the young Michael Jackson of network marketing born into this thing, right? <laughs> that's crazy. Right. <laughs> right. So when you started to uh see this as a real opportunity when did that happened when did you say you know what i might want to look into this thing myself and really take it seriously what my mom been, has been showing me all these years when did you so actually i was seven i was 17 years old when i first got started in this business and when i first got started i had no idea what i was getting started in right. my mom has never talked to me about the business she's never told me anything about network marketing my mom didn't really think i was going to be good Mm. Okay. Because <laughs> you know they've never really seen you know young people. They they never seen young people really just come in the business and crush it. Right. So um, what happened was I looked at my friends 
my, my, my circle of friends that I was hanging out with at that time. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I didn't want to be like them. Mm. And it's nothing against them. It's just that I didn't want. I had a friend that was in prison. I had um, right. friends that were becoming pregnant. You know, the, the normal high school stuff. Yeah. And I just realized that I didn't want to be like that. And I knew my mom helped people. And I said, well, I want to help people too. Mm -hmm. So I got started in the business, not even knowing what I got started in. And, you know, it's a funny thing is that's when I actually made the most money mm -hmm. was when I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. They call it ignorance People just want my excitement. Right, right. You, they, you you got excited and people uh, started to buy into that excitement, right? What did right. your what did your friends in, at that moment or within that time frame? How did they feel about this newfound business that you were uh, involving yourself with? Um, great question. So some of them actually joined me. Some of them didn't. Um, some of them told me that I was acting different. I don't know if anybody's ever started a business and they started developing themselves and their friends tell them, why are you acting different? Um, that happened to me. Mm. So some, some will, some won't. And then, you know what I realized? The ones that's closest to you will never make you rich. Mm. They will never make you rich, but they will watch you get rich. And when you win, it's we won. But when you lose, it's you got to take the L on your own. Wow. So don't even worry about your friends not supporting you nuggets 19 and already got nuggets family come on family what you doing you see you see how the young folks is rocking come on man let's get it let's get in the game so tell us you know how what was it about you that kept you inspired in spite of you know the ones who didn't get started i'm pretty sure people looked at you like you know they thought you were going hollywood right you know what kept you moving forward uh in spite of people not believing so, you know, when I was back in school, I was never that person. I didn't sing, I didn't dance, I didn't have any talent, I didn't do a sport, I mean, nothing. So back then, I, I just kind of really felt like I didn't have a purpose. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody else has ever felt like that, but I mean, every single day, I would ask myself, why am I here? Like, I don't do anything, my family isn't happy like they're not sitting in bleachers anywhere cheering me on for anything. Mm. Um, I was an average student. Um, I didn't get A's or anything like that. I didn't fail any classes, but mm -hmm. you know, nothing to be proud of. Mm. So every single day I was just asking myself, why am I here? Like really, why am I here? And I went through this whole depression. And when I started this business, I really started to to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. I really started to re to realize why I was here. I started to realize what my talents were. I, I found out that I could actually speak to people. I didn't mm -hmm. know I could speak to people. Wow. I didn't know I could present in front of a room. I didn't know any of that until I got started into this particular business. That's amazing. So you didn't have any other uh, goals, aspirations, anything else that you had in your mind, you know, coming out of school, there wasn't anything else you wanted to do? No nothing and i got started in this business when i was still in high school mm. so it was my senior year of high school so I, I i had never really graduated and thought that far ahead and that's another thing i never thought far ahead i was living day to day mm. it was just me going with emotions so i never really understood what i was meant to be here for mm. i never really understood what i was going to be good at mm. so what is it um as far as like uh you know what was it like for you at the beginning of your career? You know, you said you got started when you were in high school. A high school uh, student probably doesn't have that much influence uh, outside of her friends, right? You said that your friends didn't really, most of them didn't really see the vision. So what was it like for you at the beginning getting that started or getting started that early in, in network marketing? You know, actually, in the beginning stages, I, I actually did have a couple of friends who decided to partner with me. And we d we created this movement, and it was called The Next Generation, and we were gonna show, you know, everybody else that's older than us that we can, we can have a good influence over our generation because I knew that I needed something for people to get behind. Mm. So just me being young, starting a business wasn't enough for people to get behind. So I knew I needed to create a movement. And that was the movement that I decided to create. And I 
branched out of that movement because I don't like to keep myself in a box. Mm. So when every, everybody always asks me, Jayla, how are you getting all these young people in this business? How, how do you recruit a millennial? I tell them I don't recruit millennials. I don't. Mm. I recruit up because I know that I cannot get rich staying in my comfort zone and millennials would be my comfort zone. Mm. So I recruit up. Wow, that's good stuff. So what what do you think the difference was for you now? Uh, now you're having some tremendous success. You're making, uh, you know, quite a bit of noise, making a name for yourself. What do you think the difference is now? And why do you think all the success is happening right now for you? So right now, I think that I'm under some very great leadership um, as where before um, my leadership was great, but our leadership took us as high as we could go. Mm. And that's what we did. We, we, they took us as high as we could go and they could not take us any further than where we went. So now that we're with some new leadership, some new people, new blood, I mean, this business has been tremendous for us ever since. The, the science behind the method is what really, really teaches me um, how to fill up a room. Mm -hmm. how, I mean, just the systems that they that they bring to us to follow. So looking back on when I first started into now, I actually have a system to follow. Mm -hmm. As before, I was just kind of going through the motions, kind of right. having a little success and then not having a little success and then having some and then not. But now I actually have a system to where I can follow. I mean, following a man that residual, residually made $1.5 million a month, wow. uh, Mr. Holton Bugs, following him. Shout out to Holton Bugs. Yes. <laughs> Another Shout out to him. Legend, <laughs> legend in the industry. Um, so tell us this. I think one of the things you might be able, you might agree. Um, one of the things that young people might face when it comes to going into business, you know, network marketing, becoming an entrepreneur is fear. They may have fear. Recently, we saw you speak on stage in front of how many people at your convention? Over 7,000. <laughs> Over 7,000 people, family. This young lady got on stage and spoke in front of 7,000 people people you had to share with the Builders Club TV family what that experience was like for you. Wow. Um, you know, I was really nervous until I got on the stage. And when I got on the stage, I had to think about, it wasn't about me. It was about everybody else in my audience that would have been inspired by me. Mm. So that's why I speak the way I speak. I do the things that I do because I'm not doing it for me. I do it for other people so that they can see me on stage and they can say, if she can do it, I can do it. Mm. So that's why I do it. Wow. Wow. So let's shift gears a little bit because I want to talk to you about this. So being so young, come on, you're making all this money, right? How do you stay focused, right? How does how does someone your age stay focused? Because there's concerts, there's movies, there's sporting events, there's parties. You're probably missing out on some of that stuff, right? So how do you how does someone like yourself, still young, right? How do you how do you uh you know stay away from that? How are you staying focused? So here's the number one thing is what I want everybody to forget about is balance. Because when you first start a business, there is no such thing as balance, mm. okay? You can do it all, and, and women, we do it all anyway. So, you know, it's all really just a mindset. Um, if I choose to go to a party, I can. It's just a way that you think of it. By me going to this party, I might meet someone there that can you know get into my business so me going out um it can really lead to more leads more people right. um i don't go out a lot so i really don't i i stay home i read all the time i do have some other friends that are in my business and that don't run a business i do have friends that are in college and that's all they do i have friends that work and that's all they do so I think you you kind of need that because if you did business 24 7 you might drive yourself crazy mm. you you really might drive yourself crazy mm. so it's okay because where frustration comes from i found that frustration comes from people that feel like they are not doing enough work 
And I don't want people to ever feel like just because they took some time off and went to a party or just because they took some time off and went to the movies that they're not doing enough work. No, it's okay to do that. It's okay to um, take some time to yourself. But on the other end of that, you have to work your business. Mm. If you want to go to the movies, put a little extra hour in into your business. Or mm. maybe a little extra 30 minutes, whatever. But it's just a, it's a way that you look at it. Because most people are like, well, aren't you missing out on all the fun? No, I still have a great deal of fun. Mm. Especially because I'm in the travel industry, I can travel around the world. So I'm right. not missing any fun. Right. I just rather party in Cancun. <laughs> right right truly a lifestyle business so you do that on purpose you have friends who are on purpose not involved in your same industry and then they're just friends yes yes i do that on purpose i i don't try to get them into my business i don't try to recruit them because i don't i don't always need you know somebody asking me a question about how do i recruit this person how do mm. i i sometimes i need to just talk to you about life mm. so that is that so, advice that you have awesome. for people is you know you should you know everybody's not a recruit some people just need to be who they are and what they are for that particular reason right right so tell us you know the lifestyle now because uh, you know, being a young person, we know it's not all business. Like you said, it's a lifestyle business. What are some of the things that you do to to unwind and, and relax when you're not engaged in the business? You said, I'm sorry, you're going in and out. You said, what are some of the things that I do? Yeah. What are some of the what? things that you do when you're not engaged in the business? How do you relax? How do you take a breather? How do I take a breather? Yeah. Okay. So... One of the things is reading. Um, reading really calms me down sometimes because business can get hard. It really can, let's be real. Um, I like to read. Um, it could be a wealthy book. It could be a book about, you know, fun, whatever. I like to read to calm down. And I also like to write. Mm. I'm a very good writer. <laughs> And I'm just starting to realize that. I didn't know that before, but now I'm just starting to realize how good of a writer I am. So we got the book coming and soon, then, right? Now. We got the book, the the, uh, the book of your uh, rise to success coming soon. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta do it. <laughs> we gotta do it. Everybody's been asking me, um, "Are you gonna write a book? Are you gonna write a book?" <laughs> Everybody's been asking me that. Speaking of everybody, um, what? It, what it what is what are some of the reactions you know you're getting because you, you were on stage you know you're hitting uh the ranks in your company what what are some of the reactions that you're getting now from people around you seeing you have all this success so one of the biggest reactions that i get is oh my god you inspire me so much no matter how old they are no matter how young they are Everybody has told me that I inspired them so much. Wow. And another reaction that I get is, um, oh my God, I just called my daughter. I just called my son. I just called my niece. I just called my nephew. And I told them about you. And I said, look at this 19 year old who's doing it, who's on stage. So I just hope that you can inspire them. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that you can inspire them. And I'm like, you know, somebody handed me a rock about a year ago and the rock said inspiration. Mm. And that's because they told me that I was going to inspire a lot of people. And when it's starting to happen, it's like the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to happen for me that I'm really inspiring. I mean, not just young people, mm. because like I said, once again, that box, mm. I don't like to just inspire young people. I want to inspire everybody. Mm. So, um, for me to get the reaction that I'm actually inspiring somebody, maybe 50, 60 years old, that's really big for me. Wow. Wow. Jayla, will you tell us, you know, or uh, your, your advice, your, your best advice for, for young people. We want to talk to the young people that will be watching this interview and what is your best advice for someone your age, maybe a little older, um, that they've been doing it, you know, they've been doing this for a while. They're not getting the results that you're getting, right? They haven't had their breakthrough. What kind of advice do you have for a person in terms of, you know, moving forward? 
Um, okay, so one of the things is your time will come. Um, you know, don't look at somebody else's success and say, oh my God, I want to, you know, you can say I want to be like her, but don't expect to be just like her because you could be even greater than her. You could be greater than me because what most people do is they look at me and they're like, oh my God, you're a diamond. I'm going to be a diamond next month. Mm. And you know, it, it took a long time to get here. Mm. It, it wasn't just like instant, you know, try not to compare yourself to where somebody else is because you might be on your chapter first in your chapter one and then they might be on chapter 30. Mm. so you cannot compare yourself to where somebody else is and when you're first starting this business you really want to be patient because you may not earn any money for the first year mm. sometimes it happens you get in this business and you don't earn any money but you have to learn first you have to be a student um i always tell people that that's young look when you're in college, your first year of college, do you expect to graduate from college your first year? No. Mm. Why? Because the system has managed your expectations mm. to say you're going to either graduate in two or four years. Mm. So if you're in a four year college, you know you're going to graduate in four. If you're in a two year college, you know you're going to graduate in two. But you have that time frame, two or four. So just like when you're in business, you must have a realistic time frame for yourself to be able to learn and become a student of this industry. And then after you have learned and became a student of this industry, then you can start earning. You can take that L off of learn and you can start earning. Mm. But first you must become a student. Mm. How you get so smart at 19? <laughs> Amazing. I read. I read books. <laughs> awesome. 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 So we're going to, um, oh, let me ask you this last question. Your future. What are your goals for the next six months? What is your next goal for the next year going into 2020? What do you Our see? Your, what goal? do you see your business? Our next goal. We are um, on our way to becoming blue diamonds. What that means is 500,000 in sales volume. Mm. And we are going to do that. We're already at 200,000. Wow. So we're, we're close. Wow, so she's doing that, numbers, that's guys. What, she's doing numbers. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. And, you know, we're working on becoming blue diamonds. Nipsey blue, blue mm. diamonds. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I love him and I and I study Nipsey as well. So um, we're working on becoming blue diamonds. What I would love to do is once I've earned my money, I would love to invest into, you know, maybe some real estate. Mm. Um, I've always wanted, I've always wanted my own resort on another island somewhere. Wow. I know that's really big, but, but I've always wanted that. Goals. And so I'm always saving up and, um, I've always wanted, you know, when I got married, eventually, one day, that I was going to go on my own resort for my honeymoon. So I'm working on building that. Wow. <laughs> her own resort for her and honeymoon. That's major goals, guys. Wow. That's not even here yet. It's, it's not even here yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Wow. It's not even here yet, but I'm working on it. But so really right now in the next six months, we are working on becoming blue diamonds at our company. Um, and then we're also just working on reading some more because we want to be millionaires. Um, in the next 18 months, we want to at least have had a million dollars in our bank account. Mm. Wow. In the next 18 months. So we've turned off all the TVs in the house. We have our calendars ready. Our whole September is already booked. Um, October, I have a few days in October that's already booked, but October is about to be booked as well in the next week or two. Mm. So, and, and that's how serious we are. Mm. Um, and once I book my, every time I book my, my month, I go ahead and book for the next month. My birthday is in November, November 24th. And um, every year since I started this business, I hate celebrating my birthday if I haven't grown. Because mm. that's what your birthday is supposed to be. You're supposed to celebrate your birthday in terms of growth. Mm. And, and when physically growing, you don't feel that. You don't, when you turn, the, the first day you turned 18, 
from 17 to 18, you don't feel a difference. There's mm. really no, di I mean, you, it's excitement, but you don't feel a difference. Right. But I promise you, if you take the next 18 months from, from your birthday, my birthday's November 24th, to November 24th to the next November 24th, if all I did was study and read all about my business, I guarantee you I'm gonna feel different that next birthday. Wow, wow. Wow, Builders Club TV family, Jalen, Michelle, uh, you're going to be one of the goats. I already know it, 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 it's happening. It's already <laughs> happening. I want you to take notice, family. Keyword calendar. She has a calendar, empty calendar, empty what? Empty pockets. Take notes. The calendar. That's where the secret is. Um, will you go ahead and Jayla, give out your social media and give out your website? In case the of family course. Get so touch. my face. Of course, my Facebook is, uh, what is it? Jayla Michelle, J-A-H-L-A-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That's my Facebook. And then my Instagram is also Jayla Michelle, but my Instagram is just one word. So it's J-A-H-L-A-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Jayla Michelle. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're going to be paying attention. We're looking forward to watching your movie. We uh, are excited. We're uh, proud of you at the same time. You have a family here at the Builders Club TV. Uh, we want the exclusive. When you hit those new ranks, when you hit Blue Diamond, you got to come back and talk to the Builders Club TV. Can you, We got a deal? Okay, awesome. Absolutely. Definitely. So, absolutely. So, Builders Club TV family, we got Jayla Michelle. Peace, family. We'll see you next time.